Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So this is a follow up to a video I did a few weeks ago on a system called Parcel that allows you to use LLMs to generate complex programs given a very high level spec. Now, the reason I wanted to do a follow up is that since I've done that video, the author has put up a repository on GitHub with working code. So if you're interested in this sort of stuff, definitely go check out the GitHub repository. And it has a number of really neat examples, some that were in the paper, some that are new. And even since publishing the repository, there are a couple of really cool new features that have gotten added to the system that I wanted to call out. So before we get to that, let's look at some simple examples. This is actually one of the examples presented in the paper to solve the Colat's recursion problem. And you can see how this is a very high level spec, which simply has a function signature, an English language description, and then a few input output examples. And also down here, the indented parts are other functions that this top level function can call. So this top level function can call the base case function and the recursion function. And each of those also have an English language description and some input output examples. And when you run parcel on that spec, this is the program that comes back from the LLM. So that's pretty neat. They have some much more complex examples like game of life. The one I thought was really cool is a rudimentary Lisp interpreter. So this is a high level spec of what you want in a Lisp interpreter. So for example, you have an environment which keeps track of all your variables. You have a program evaluator. Here you can find an input output example with a very typical Lisp expression. And I think one key thing that Codex, which is the LLM model that's being used in the background, is using in this example is that we specify the scheme programming language in these function descriptions. And I think that's helping it to understand that this is really a Lisp-like language that we're trying to parse. Anyway, so when you run parcel on that, you come back with a fairly functional rudimentary Lisp interpreter. And at the bottom, it even generates a number of unit tests, so to speak, with all these assertions. Now, the two new additions I really wanted to highlight were generating of programs without writing those unit tests, without those input output examples. So this was added just a couple of weeks ago, and the author is tweeting about it over here. And you can see how in one of these examples, this is the one that talks about airports and roads and transportation costs and trying to find a solution that minimizes costs. Here you see the spec, but without any of the unit tests. So this is the example in the repo. And this does come back with a pretty functional solution. And there are tests that are generated at the bottom. If you follow the rest of this tweet thread, the author's explaining how he uses this strategy called code T, which is described in this paper over here, to automatically generate good unit tests, tests that test every function and test at least two outputs per function. So that's pretty neat. You don't even have to come up with unit tests. You can just write a signature and an English language description. But then the author goes even further than that. And this is a change that was added just a couple of days ago, as of the time of this recording, which is that you don't even need to write function signatures at all. It's just pure natural language. So look at this description. It is only natural language with a breakdown of the sub problems. And surprisingly enough, this comes back with functional code as well. And here at the bottom, you'll see a bunch of generated unit tests. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
in that you can actually break down a complex problem into simpler subproblems. But not only that, you can omit the function signatures, you can omit the input output examples or the unit tests and still get back working code. So that's pretty exciting. Please go check out the repository if you're interested in this kind of stuff and definitely something to keep an eye on. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.